So some breaking news for you all. Uh, you're hearing it first here on Coindesk TV. Big news coming out of Binance US. Apparently Binance US has hired Brian Schroeder as president of the exchange and also made him a board member. Uh, Brian Schroeder was formerly a strategist and business development executive at Ant Group, which is an affiliate company of the Chinese internet giant Alibaba, and prior to that at Uber. So he will oversee fundraising, business and corporate development, as well as manage the firm's legal and HR matters. We've all been wondering what's going to be going on with Binance US after the sudden departure of Brian Brooks last month. And so now we finally got that news of where they're headed. So I'm going to throw this straight to the group for your, your take. Zach, I'll throw it to you to start off with. How do you feel about this move? Super funny. It's definitely, it definitely does not have the impact of, oh, we hired Brian Brooks to run the shop, right? This is uh, highly reflective of the current market position of Binance being under regulatory scrutiny across the globe. Um, I think it's interesting that, you know, there's, you know, in this announcement, there's still plans for Binance US, the American arm of the largest cryptocurrency exchange by volume, to go public in some capacity, was certainly alluded to in the new president's statement. Um, yeah, but just kind of feels like, yeah, kind of feels like Binance is weathering some storms. They're, you know, they're finding key leadership to keep the boat afloat. But the fact that they weren't able to get the star power that they got when they announced Brian Brooks last time around, I mean, which was really just four months ago, if we think about it, um, suggests that things have uh, turned a bit south for this company as they figure out how to operate in a compliant way in jurisdictions that may be cracking down on what they're able to offer the market. So interesting to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's my initial, that's my top line take, but I'll toss it to Will. Will, what do you think? The, the two things that kind of stand out for me from this headline, kind of coming to a blind here, is it is Ant Group, which obviously very large uh, firm within China. And uh, I don't know much more besides that. I know that they're very uh, embedded in the financial industry there, that they've had a lot of uh, issues with the Chinese government recently. Uh, so interesting to get that angle. I'm uh, interested to see further reporting around that angle. Uh, but to go back to the Binance part, kind of with you on this, Brian Brooks leaving was a big deal, kind of uh, noted that, you know, regulators have been kind of moving out the door. Uh, There's another firm, um, name escapes me right now, but Giancarlo left that firm after uh, only four months in the position. And we're kind of seeing some regulatory swap at the same time that SEC is kind of jumping all over the place. Uh, so interesting to see those things kind of be happening at the same time. And then Binance US trying to patch it over. Uh, Jen, I'm going to throw it to you. Yeah, you know the game show, it's it's escaping me. The name is escaping me right now where you have to run through the obstacle course. You keep getting like smacked in the face. That's what <laughs> what Binance feels like to me. They, they're they getting hit with regulatory crackdown from all over the world. FTX is increasing their market share. They, they the show's called Wipeout. Thank you, Control. It feels like Wipeout. FTX is increasing their market share. And this feels like a strange hire to address those those two aspects of the business. To Will's point, uh, doing business in China it really requires the relationships, especially with government. So if they were going to focus their energies there, I can I can see this as a strategic hire. But it, I I can't understand why they would focus their energies there. But I'll kick it back to you, Naomi. Yeah, I think it's very interesting because the relationship with Binance US with Binance, I think is, um, it, we, it's shown to be pretty strong, you know, uh, despite all the rhetoric of them saying that we're completely separate. At the end of the day, CZ is really speaking on behalf of both companies. And so I think it's kind of a smart play to get an executive with experience doing business in uh, Asia, having, you know, understanding the culture there. Um, there's a great quote, uh, so a good body uh has said that knowing how to navigate this business culture while building an increasingly regulated business in the us uh, is a key skill that schroeder will need to exercise i think that's a, a key point there so i mean it's not necessarily a bad play from them um it's uh it, china asia is is going to be a really important to, a place for them to be building relationships uh, it's also interesting to note that uh his brother matt schroeder also works for binance as a v heading up the global markets team in Singapore. So lots of connections there, lots of connections to Asia. I just thought that was very interesting. But Zach, I'll throw it back to you. Yeah, just like I remain increasingly confused about the relationship between Binance US and Binance, right? This is the US licensee of does. Binance technology. And like, 
it seems to be prioritizing a hire that has experience in the Asian crypto markets. And I'm like, I don't really know like how to interpret that or to read what that may mean for the business, but it seems like an odd pick to helm, um, you know, a company that is trying to ride the tide of crypto interest in the U S. So, um, yeah, just, just a really interesting little signal on where this, this company is. And, um, again, how it just wasn't, it's not as exciting as hiring the guy who ran ACC. <laughs> Uh, it's just True. not, uh, you know, no, no <laughs> offense to Brian Schroeder, but it's just, it's just not. So, um, I'm just curious to see, uh, you know, what the direction is, you know, Brian Brooks, before he left, had some pretty ambitious goals for how Binance US can stand out from the pack. Curious to see if he, uh, carries that torch or he has an, his own agenda going forward as to how Binance US is going to stand out as Jen, I think you're right to allude. You know, FTX US is spending a bajillion dollars getting its name out there and sponsoring, everyone and everything in the world of sports and beyond. So uh, the, the opportunity is there. And should this new hire be able to navigate the US market for this brand? I think it's an open question. It's going to be really interesting to watch. That's all I got. Will, you break right Are we taking a break? I do, What's I happening? do have a thought. Will oh, sorry. Thought. Will, go quick. <laughs> really quick. We give like finance us and finance's relationship a lot of scrutiny but ftx has like a similar relationship going on and mm -hmm. i feel like they haven't Absolutely. marketed as strongly like the differentiation between the two products as binance has but i like sbf seems very involved with ftx us just from the outside looking in so i'm wondering if that kind of plays into this discussion at all does it really matter that there's kind of these two different entities or is it important to market it that way just some food for thought